Hey gang, Zippo, doing a quick generic uh, unboxing here. Uh, buddy Evil Minion, I, you guys might have seen my BR6, recent BR6 video where I tune, was tuning a carburetor that I rebuilt for him. Um, he had a 4 bolt that he wanted to send my way to get rebuilt, and he kept hesitating sending it and hesitating sending it. And I said, Well, you've got that other carburetor you said you was going to give me. So just throw a couple other goodies in there, and I'll get this one rebuilt and sent back to you, and we'll just call it even. So. Uh, took me a while to convince him that I really meant that and he finally got the box sent to me so there's two carburetors in this box one's uh, for me and the other one's uh, for me to rebuild for Evil Minion but there's supposed to be some other stuff in here so let's tear into it and see what we get out of it uh, we're going to be using the Benchmade Nagara it's been my uh, pocket carry for quite some time absolutely love this knife so if you guys are in, uh, if you guys like bench maids and it doesn't bother you to get a uh, essentially a red class, uh, they now the Nagara has a Harley Davidson. It's a Harley Davidson knife now. But uh, if you don't, if red class, if we don't know what red class is, it's the foreign made. Uh, but anyway, I, I still love it. Very nice knife. But anyway, let's tear into the box here. See how it does on cutting through the duct tape. Yeah, like butter. Okay, that's one side, and it says this side up, so I want to obviously be careful not to flip the box over. We'll see what we've got in here. I'm hoping one thing I, that uh, he sent me before was a skull, so I'm hoping there might be another skull or two in the box. And you'll notice I'm just using a little footstool to do my unboxing on. Um, that's kind of because my little workbench turned into my secondary uh, uh, computer stand here. Um, I got a wireless keyboard and, a, and a, a larger monitor and I started really filling up my uh, Dell Inspiron laptop's memory so I've been trying to weed through it. It's got all my pictures and videos on it so I've been trying to go through it and clean it up but while I've been in the process to uh, keep doing my computing and whatnot, um, pulled out my little Aspire 1 notebook netbook notebook and it's you know, it was way too small so anyway I threw this stuff up Ooh, hang on sorry for the ride so anyway you see I've got wireless keyboard and that's the table that I usually do uh, my um, unboxing videos and review videos on and whatnot and then over here that's my Dell Inspiron, then of course my TV, so I've got my little Geek Squad computer area going on there. Excuse me, probably can't say Geek Squad, but I did anyway, so lump it. Anyway, making a short video along just by jibber jabbering. Let's get into the box and see what we got. Alright, we got the flaps open. Let's get them tucked underneath there. Slide it forward and get that. Untucked. Hey, look, I, I got me a, what they, a Celtic cross, what do they call those crosses? Anyway. Alright, cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. Oh, hey. I got me a nice looking, not cracked anywhere. Well, that's sweet. I got just a thing for that. This guys is a, a B-series steering wheel. Um, it would go on the uh, B1s, B10s, early B10s, late B10s, the big 10, uh, late B10, B12s, uh, and I'm not sure if the early B110s had the Aviation 68 or not, but hell, yeah, good deal there, bro. Thanks. Nice score. No cracks or anything in it. Nice, nice. Appreciate that. It can also go on uh, my Squire. I believe the Squire's also had a white steering wheel. All right. So we got some da -da -dum -dum, empty bag. Da -da -dum. Skull shift knob. Sweet. I think I told uh, Evil Minion what it was that I was going to use another skull knob for. And I forget. I'll have to go through my messages and check I forget exactly what it was I said I was going to use another skull for but 
This for ugly owls, by the way. Never have too many skulls on ugly owls. I gotta be careful cutting through this. This should be the one, the resin without uh, without the eyeballs in it. We'll see what we got. Roll him out of there. Ah, he was in a little cup. That's cool. I like that packaging job. That's well, heavy too. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's a dude without the eyeballs. So. This one, uh, that kind of matches the one that I've got on my PTO engagement rod. I like that. I think I was going to swap the green one out for this one. So, anyway, we'll see where that winds up on Ugly Alice. Cool. Sweet. All right. There's that. Let's see what else we got here. There's my car my old carburetor. This one's for me. That's a nice little monster of a carburetor, and the throttle uh, adjustment is right on the side of it there in the back, you can see. So, I'm going to do some research, see what these were originally mounted to. That's, that's a good looking carburetor there, buddy. I appreciate that oil bath. Yep, I like that. I'll find a real good home for that one after I get it rebuilt. It doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape there, either. And it's the original color. Hmm. That color is reminiscent of what, guys? You can help me with that. What's that color reminiscent of? Say Gilson. Gravely. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Yes, I will. I got an email. Alright, that's that. Now let's dig into the box some more. We should have a little carburetor in here so that we can. Oh, wait. Right. Uh, these guys, these are. Uh, the uh, grill side supports that hold the grills in on the earlies, the uh, flip hoods like the 700, 725, uh, and B1s and early Squire, Montgomery Ward Squires. That those hold the grills on. Those are in nice shape. They're not pinched or anything. So those are. I can put those to use too. Absolutely. So far you're batting a thousand there, bro. Good job. I'm guessing they come off of a B1, since that steering wheel looked like it came off of a B1. Yep, yeah, that looks like it's off an old 16 horsepower with a real long intake on it there. And this one actually looks like it's in a lot better shape than the last one you sent me. So, um, let me see here, is the jet in? Good. See, the jet's not in there, so that's going to uh, help get it apart and everything make sure that we're all good and also tell it's on a later engine because it's got uh, if I guys see that I don't even know if I'm in the picture it's got the hole there where your crankcase vent comes from back behind your carburetor where your uh, valve springs are your hose comes in goes into that so that your blow-by gases get reburned back through the engine instead of getting blown out into oblivion like the uh, typically do so this one definitely looks doable bro we'll see uh, just from uh, initial appearances looks like we'll be just fine getting that together and I just want to make sure yep that's a, that's a good package bro you did a good job I got my skull got that beautiful carburetor I really like that carburetor and the uh, steering wheel and the side covers to hold the front grills on the older machines. So, oh, you scored a thousand. Scored a thousand, no doubt. All right, there you go, guys. We'll uh, probably take the 16 horse that's on the shelf after we get this carb rebuilt and stick that on there uh, to do some tuning on it. That's kind of interesting. If you guys will look, this is uh, shallow, but. Um, and, you know, and I showed you the hole on it, but this is tapered. I got to look at some others that I've got. I don't recall having uh, any tapered like that. And uh, if you want to, buddy, put a message in there and remind uh, me and the rest of the guys in there what this is uh, off of and what it's going to be going on to. And I uh, hope you get your sears straightened out and that you get your head decked and all that stuff. And uh, you'll be hearing from me soon. This is Zippo. Made it under 10 minutes, even though I blabbered some. Later. I'm out.